What is good, my tribe? We are headed back to Athens this upcoming Sunday. We are taking a nice little drive. And boy, oh boy, has it been a freaking great Sunday. It's been a freaking great weekend in general. So let's start off Friday night catching up with a very good friend from the gym. Going and just exploring, seeing the park at night, going to the Avalon. Just a really, really good time and I couldn't be so much, so, so thankful. However, we did stay up till like 6 o'clock in the morning, so I really didn't get too much sleep Saturday. I actually got missed hanging out with my friend A.A. Ron in the morning to see like this exotic car show. But there'll be more. There's more exotic car shows to see. However, the cap of the weekend had to easily be today when we had some paintball action. And boy, oh boy, does your boy love some paintball. When we were at Paintball Atlanta, being a break to the OG stopping ground to like 10 years ago when I was 13, 14 years old, starting to ref, ref Saturday, play Sunday, learn how to interact with people who are older than me, who, you know, would look down on me and learn customer service skills, learn how to talk to people, learn and saw all different walks of life that come through a paintball field. And any of y'all motherfuckers who go to a paintball field know how crazy and diverse it really is, which is just, in my opinion, such a beautiful, just beautiful thing just to see all the different cultures and whatnot. However, my GoPro has been continuously dying, like every day it dies, like I'll get on it in like 20, 30 minutes and die, so what, what is that guys, help me out, why is my GoPro dying, because it's kind of frustrating that I have all this footage on there, or like I have like pits and pieces of days but like it consistently dies so I can't put together like a full day it's just gonna be like leading up to the climax and then blue balls and leading up to the climax and then blue balls it's just like <sighs> so frustrating so frustrating however I just needed to kind of give you guys an update on everything that's been going on and just say hey how you doing you know, as I'm thinking, as I'm pondering, as I'm talking out loud, I realize we had a buddy of mine named Chip come up to me today and ask me about just what can he do to get started in fitness. And he was talking to me about these different things and it really comes down to this thought that kept cycling in my head is we know what to eat. Like we as a society know that eating sugar is bad. Having cereal in the morning that's just filled with sugar and calories and everything else that isn't the best thing to have, um, especially to fuel your body. And even like for somebody like this individual who's consistently outside, who works nine to five outside in the heat and constantly moving around, not fueling your body correctly, that's not gonna allow any muscle gain. At the end of the day, you're not having enough protein, you're not you know, having a consistent amount of fat and you're oversaturated in carbohydrates and that oversaturation is just gonna lead to just sugar buildup because carbohydrates break down into sugar because all carbohydrates, all sugars are either glucose or fructose. Um, and fructose is definitely the sugar we want to have low amount of. Glucose is the, the sugar that your body uses to actually burn calories. Or not really burn calories because fructose does that as well. But glucose is the thing that your body uses, let's say, in the gym to get your body a moving and a grooving. And when you eat carbohydrates, it's that glucose level that needs to rise back up so you're fully replenished. But that's not what this is get, alluding to or getting to. This is a getting to getting started, the 101 of fitness. Before you even, I wouldn't even say before you join a gym, I think joining a gym at any stage of your fitness level is a great idea. But if you are wanting to build a fitness level and not have a gym membership, which is completely fine, I would highly, highly, highly recommend starting with some interval kind of workouts at the house. For example, Homeboy had a treadmill and I was like, perfect. We could easily write you out a little workout split of doing two minutes on the treadmill, coming off, knocking out 15 push-ups, 25 squats, and then some form of a abdominal rotational movement. And this individual had a compressed lower back spine, so there's not a lot of bend given back, but there is still a amount of good of bend, and you still need a move of going to your sagittal plane, your left and right, so twisting. That is what we're trying to hit here. So, I would say, Starting with body weight movements is great. Body weight movements are super underrated. I mean, seriously, go through a circuit of push up squats, you know, ab movements, side to side plane, and pull ups, and do running on top of that, you're done. 
you're absolutely fried. No matter how good a shape you are, because you're just pushing and cranking it out and getting faster and faster and faster. But one thing I told him, I was like, look, I don't care if you can't knock out 50 solid push-ups. If you can knock out five solid push-ups with perfect form, where your elbows are tucked by your side, and you're pushing through with your chest and locking out your arms at the top and coming back down, you only knock out five, that's all we fucking need. That is all we need because it's not about where you start, it is about where you finish. And we're gonna go full circle with the vlog. It's not about how shitty these vlogs are right now, but one day they are gonna be better. One day I'm gonna be better. One day you're gonna be better. And you know what, before we know it, we're all better. That is where we're gonna leave this vlog at, is all of us getting better day by day. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Peace.